Hi, my friends! Welcome to the channel English Professionally. Thanks a lot for your support, for your likes and shares, for your comments. And this playlist is Secrets of Learning English, Lesson 1. Yeah, it's 10 secrets to improve your listening skills. So, this information is very important, okay? So, please watch all this video and you'll know everything. Good. So, you know, I really want to know English well, but my listening skills are terrible. So, listening skills, it's how you can listen and terrible means very bad. As a result, I can't have a normal conversation. So, I can't speak with other people effectively. It's so irritating, it's so annoying, it's so irritating and annoying. It means that I don't like it at all, I really don't like it, I hate it. In general, yeah, in general, okay, it means that uh, if we look at all these things, my English is quite good, except listening. So, yeah, so my grammar is quite good, so I can speak well, you know, I can write in English, I can read in English, but my listening is terrible, okay? I see your point. I was in these shows. So, I see point means I see your idea. I was in these shows or I was in this situation too. I was in this uh, situation too. Really? I see you have perfect listening skills. So, perfect means very good and you can understand any English speech without any problems at all. What did you do? So, I am waiting for your answer with impatience. So, with impatience, it means that I can't wait for it. It's so, so interesting. Just please tell me this information. So, I'm really, I'm really waiting for, for it. I'm waiting with it with impatience. Good. Well, the answer is quite simple. So, I'd better give you some extremely useful tips. So, I'd better means I prefer to give you, I'd better, I prefer to give you some extremely useful or very useful tips or there is another word for tips. I hope that you know this word, it's recommendations, recommendations, you know, it's another useful word for this context, okay? So, recommendations so that you can succeed succeed or so that you can be so that you can be successful successful okay so that you can be uh, successful so you can really understand other people okay no problem i just want a perfect result and i'm ready to follow all these recommendations to so to follow means to do or uh, what so what i'll hear it's like the, you know, it's like the greatest treasure, like the greatest treasure in the world for me. It means that it's so, so important just and I really want to get this knowledge, to get this information from you. Uh, don't think that I'm crazy or I'm mad, yeah, but I really want to understand native speakers, really. Do you want to understand native speakers? Do you really want it? I think so. Okay, so good. And you know that, um, yeah, so the first secret. Uh, there is a myth that uh, if you really want to understand native speakers, you just need to listen to them, listen and listen. So myth, it means that uh, in fact, it isn't true. In fact, it isn't true, okay? So many people try to do it and fail. So fail you know, it means that they don't succeed. So, these are actually, these are two opposite words, fail and succeed. So, they don't succeed, they can't do it. Yeah? So, it is sometimes sad. So, you see, it's a passive voice. It is sometimes sad. It means people sometimes say that you will understand it from the context sooner or later. Yeah, it means that you understand from the context, so maybe you are a beginner, but they say, listen, listen, and listen, and you'll understand. No! 
how can you un how can you do it if uh, if your level yeah thanks if your level isn't so high really if you are a beginner if you or print if your level is pre intermediate intermediate how can you understand thousands thousands of new english words it's impossible it's impossible so yeah you know it can take you ages so it can take you a very long time a very very long time yeah and you need to you know maybe to live in england or america for many years to understand it so you'll be only wasting time so wasting time is that um, so you can spend a lot of time on it without any result yeah without any result so this method isn't effective this me method isn't effective okay so i hope that you understand what i'm talking about okay so we have a limited amount of free time it means that we don't have much free time we are very busy so we should use only the most effective ways of learning english yeah uh, so the first tip is that you need yeah the first tip is that you need to start listening to english speech with something simple suitable for your level yes thanks suitable for your level yeah it means that so if your level is pre-intermediate don't you know don't listen just you know to english movies or just to native speakers who speak so fast you know find you know resources for your level it's very very important thing so if you do it you'll feel optimistic yeah it will help you i can just add which will help you uh, feel optimistic it, it will help you feel optimistic yes and you won't be frustrated and you won't be and you won't be frustrated and you won't be frustrated or as they say so there is another word for it and you won't be uh, disappointed you won't be disappointed or frustrated because you you'll feel the progress you'll feel the progress you feel the progress you feel the progress it won't be too difficult for you it's also a very important thing so it won't be it won't be it won't be too difficult okay it won't be too difficult for you okay well so well done so good and um, you open my eyes okay, okay so my level is pre-intermediate should I listen to one resource at about this level and then should I go to the next source and the next level, right? So it means that, so you, people often think that, so, you know, that they need to, they have maybe, they have some English level and they think that they need to learn one book and then uh, they go to the next level, then one book, then to the next level. And so it's, uh, this process actually uh, is uh, very quick. Yeah, but in fact it isn't. Yeah, really, you are so quick. You can test it, yeah, you can test it, but you will feel only, but you will feel, yes, it's about the future. Uh, it will feel only disappointment you'll feel only disappointment really focus on quality focus on quality so you need you know to learn real english and you need to learn it effectively really so don't think that uh, you can do it in 10 days you know in uh, 20 days no it isn't true just learn it it will take you longer but you'll do it you'll do it anyway just focus on quality yes you need real progress not just words okay so uh if the second extremely important tip extremely important means very important tip that you need to uh okay, okay actually that uh you need to i mean listen uh to this level as long as you need it means that you know i can tell you from my experience that so my level was pre-intermediate 
and uh, I listened uh, to one resource at this level, then to the n then one more, one more, one more, so maybe uh, 20 or 30 resources, different resources at this level, and then so I went to the next level. So it isn't, you know, it isn't so quick, but it's quality, it's quality, you know, it's a very good base, yeah, just enjoy, enjoy learning English. Yeah, enjoy learning English, and I think that it's also important uh, to type it. Enjoy learning English. So really, you should enjoy doing it. So if you don't enjoy learning English, I think it isn't a good idea. Okay, personally, I used uh, to listen for hours. So personally, it means uh, it's uh, about my experience. It's about my experience. Yes, I used to listen for hours. It means that uh, I did it in the past. I did it in the past. Yeah, really. I used to listen for hours. I listened for hours earlier. And you need to listen a lot and see your progress. Really, it's very important tip. Listen a lot, a lot. Not just one book, not just, you know, one article, not just one video. It isn't enough. It isn't really enough. So don't count like this. Oh, it's the first book, uh, it's uh, the second book, you know, enjoy, really enjoy learning English, enjoy learning English, it's very, very important, yeah? And concentrate more on the process and, uh, and the result, but not just on counting, you know, how many books you've already read, no, no, no don't do it, just enjoy. Enjoy learning English and see your progress. Okay, well done. Uh, okay, in other words, in other words, so just it's how I understand you. I need to listen to adapted uh, material, uh, to adapted uh, material for non-native uh, speakers of English first, and have and and have lots of English listening practice. So, yeah, so it can be plural materials, yeah, if, if it's about many materials, yeah, to adapted materials, yes, so it's a good idea, uh, not just, uh, not books in the original, not books in the original, not only movies, not only movies, uh, you know, without subtitles or um, translation, no, adapted materials first, adapted materials first, start with something simple for non-native speakers of English, yeah, it's okay, and then you have more difficult uh, books, sources, conversations, videos, it's, you know, it's step by step, so we call it step by step, we call it step by step approach, we call it step by step approach, okay, uh, well, so, and have lots of English listening practice. Yeah, so you need, you need to listen a lot, not just 10 minutes a day, not just 10 minutes a day. It isn't enough. Listen, listen, and listen. So, you got it, uh, but, uh, yeah, you got it. Uh, but unfortunately, so unfortunately it means it isn't so good. It isn't enough to improve your listening skills greatly. It means to do it, you need to follow other tips too. Yeah, so these tips are really great and uh, I really hope that you enjoy these actually tips, recommendations, you know, these ideas, but in fact there is more information you need to know. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Okay, good. Okay, next. Okay, I look forward to it. It means that uh, I really want to know it or I'm waiting for it with impatience. Okay, well. And so the next very good phrase. Incredible. So incredible is at me as it may seem. So it's really incredible. Incredible. So it, like uh, unbelievable, unimaginable. So it's um, you know it's difficult to believe it. So few people really know. So few means not many people really know that to have real progress. To have real progress, if you want, if you want to have real progress, they need to see the text. They need to see the text and listen to it at the same time. So the third very important secret. So see the text, yes, with your eyes. And listen. Listen and listen. See and listen. This is a perfect combination. So, or it's a perfect combination. It's a perfect combination. Please keep it in mind. It's a perfect combination, okay? It's uh, like what we are doing right now. 
Is it also for our perfect listening skills and not only speaking? And not only speaking. Exactly. Only this way. It's a crucial point. It's a crucial point means so it's a very, very important thing. It's a crucial point. The most important thing. Yes? Only this way. So you need to see the text. So really, personally, I don't understand so uh, why people, you know, just listen to something and they don't uh, look at the text. So, you know, it's not so good for progress. It's not so good uh, for a good progress if they really have time and they want to train yeah, these skills. Okay, so this method helped me a lot. You know, listening was my weakest point. Weakest point means that uh, I had big problems with it. It has helped me a lot and uh, I'm sure and I'm sure it will help you enormously too. Enormously means greatly. It will help you enormously too. I just want to open your eyes on really effective ways of learning English tested by time. So, you know, some people, you know, they are like, you know, like blind, uh, they are like blind people, so they don't see, uh, they don't see uh, the way. But we need to, you know, to open our eyes, yeah, and see it. Really, we need to find these effective ways of learning English tested by time. So, but not only words, you know, Really, you know, people often say, okay, so my method is the best one, so my method is the best one. But in fact, it's just words, just words. So just, you know, maybe beautiful words, uh, but with no result. So we have another idea. So we put result in the first place. Yes, it's the most important thing for us. Good, very good. So, so well, it's no exaggeration. So it means that it's a real thing. It's a real thing, yeah, not only words. Each of your tips is a great discovery for me. Is a great discovery means uh, is a very important and new thing for me. Okay, go on, please don't stop. Okay, we'll do it. Okay, thanks for your encouragement. So thanks for your encouragement or thanks for your support. So you encourage me. So you help me or you, I can say that you inspire me. So you encourage me or you inspire. Very nice words, very nice words. Or you encourage, you encourage me, you inspire me, okay? Uh, good. And uh, you also need to bear in mind one thing. So we say to bear in mind or to keep in mind. So it's an alternative, an alternative word or, you know, phrase to keep in mind or to have in mind one thing that you also need to manage your time effectively to manage your time effectively so you have maybe you have some free time uh, but are you sure that uh, you do the right and the best things for you and for your english yeah and for your english okay good so we perfectly know that people try to find different excuses saying that they have no free time at all so really excuses it means that so people say okay so uh, i don't uh, i don't learn english uh, because i have no time or i don't learn english regularly or systematically uh, because uh, i have no free time i'm very busy so i have lots of work please understand me and so on so we call it excuses okay so, saying that they have no free time at all no problem don't think that there is no solution to this problem solution or there is no way out so solution or way out so this problem can be solved yeah it can be solved so it isn't a problem it can be solved this problem can be solved so really so what is this solution you can listen to something in english as a background as a background Okay, what does it mean? I mean while doing other things. Uh, for example, yeah, you have no time, but you really want, you know, uh, to watch uh, this video or, or at least to listen to this video. And uh, you can maybe uh, check your email so you can look for something online and just, you know, you need to uh, play this video and uh, you uh, hear not just blah, 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 but you hear some English words, uh, phrases, and it's really very effective it's very effective so you do some things and maybe uh, you do uh, something maybe 
in your room, some things about the house or housework, just uh, play this video and uh, it's also very good. And this fourth tip, I suppose, is 30% um, of your success, so I suppose. So it's really very important, so I suppose your I think is 30% of your success. It's extremely important. It's extremely important. Well, so really, how can it be? How can it be? If you don't understand anything, should I do it anyway? So people often ask me this question. Okay, so, but if we don't understand, should we listen or not? Well, well, it's like listening to music. It's like listening uh, to music, really. So I know that uh, people often uh, listen to music, for example, when they drive a car or when they do something. So you can also listen to English speech. So it's a very effective way of learning English. So you save lots of time. And uh, so the next thing, have you forgotten? Mm, have you forgotten our first tip? Yeah, do you remember our first tip? Listen to something simple for a start. If you listen to something simple, how can you ask if I don't understand anything? If you say if I don't understand anything, it means that it isn't simple. It's a difficult thing. So find a simple thing. Find a simple thing. Simple text. Simple, very simple conversation and listen to it. And you won't have this question. So won't is a search form. You will not have this question. Okay. So do it and you'll be catching only some words and phrases. Or uh, maybe blah, 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 blah. For example, English, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Lower English, blah, 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 blah. Uh, house and so on. So you'll be catching only some words and phrases, but then more and more, of course, of course, yeah, or certainly, if you work hard enough. Yeah, so blah, blah, it will be only in, in the beginning, blah, 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 uh, for example, blah, 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 English, uh, blah, 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 computer, blah, 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 uh, progress, and so on. And then you'll understand more and more uh, phrases, if you work hard enough. Really, it's work, you need to study hard. And progress will come and progress will come really okay so that's clear I wish I could listen to your tips uh, again so I wish I could yes it means that uh, so uh, you think that you can't listen so it's we call it the second conditional we call it the second conditional so you think that it's something unreal so um, I wish I uh, could listen uh, to your tips again so it's like a live uh, conversation uh, to memorize or to remember, yes, to remember, uh, uh, to remember them, yeah, these tips and put them into practice, put them into practice to start using them. But in fact, yes, uh, um, of course, uh, you can listen to it. So yeah, great. Apply all this knowledge. Apply means use all this knowledge in your real life. Use it in your real life use all this information and don't hesitate to do it so don't delay it don't hesitate or don't delay don't delay it don't say okay i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it next week i'll do it next month i'll do it next year no start doing it now start following some tips now yes yeah, just start doing it don't hesitate don't hesitate just just do it, just do it really, just do it. Okay, so the recording of our conversation will be available for you. It means that you will be available for you that you can get it and really you can get it. You'll be able to listen to it as many times as you need. So as many times as you need. So maybe you need to listen to it two times or twice, no problem. So it's here on the channel, we can listen to it three times. So it's good. It's also very good for listening. And there is one very important tip, one more very important tip. I'll actually add it in the end. Okay. So yeah, I'll try not to forget it. Okay, good. As long as you need. Fantastic. You are so kind to me. Fantastic means great. Very good. No problem. Welcome. So welcome. No problem. I'm glad to help you. Uh, by the way, so by the way, okay, so but um, let's get back. So could you tell me shortly about the next tips or about the next secrets? 
So we call it, you know, that we call it tips, we call it secrets, uh, we call it also recommendations, recommendations, or we call we call it uh, we also call it advice, advice. Sure, we won't leave them out. So it's a phrasal verb. It's a phrasal verb. We won't leave them out. It means that uh, we will include. We will include. Leave out means. Um, not to include so we will include we will include these uh, tips in our conversation so uh, don't worry and uh, actually uh, there is no need to worry listen so the fifth tip is the following okay fifth tip don't fall into the trap of listening just to english books so fall into the trap means that it isn't a good thing so many people do it but it's a mistake so, and when, you know, people lis just listen to English books, no, 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 it's good, but it isn't enough, and uh, I'll tell you wh uh, why, so please uh, stay with us. So, you know that the vocabulary you come across, so it's one more phrase of verb, or you come across or you meet, so you can say you come across or you meet there, so in books is very specific and limited. So, very specific and limited, really, it isn't enough, so, really, very specific and limited, so, these words aren't enough, so, it isn't about real modern English, it isn't only about it, okay? So, listen to other sources, I mean, articles, uh, videos, uh, conversations, podcasts, uh, so, uh, you know, TV series, and so on. Not only books, not only books. So, books, you know, it's one thing, but real English is another thing. Yeah, and uh, in particular, in particular, yeah, so, um, while talking about other sources, I can recommend you our channel too, English uh, Professionally. I really hope that you enjoy this channel. And, in fact, yes, I can also add, in fact, in fact, it's a huge base. It's a huge base. It's a very big base. It's a huge base of uh, amazing videos for English learner learners for all needs and purposes. So yeah, also you know, watch uh, these videos and you can see the text. So lots of useful information. You can listen to them as a background. You can listen to them again and again. So it's also very good. Okay, but we need uh, to go ahead anyway. So okay, it's really amazing. What else? Have more speaking practice too. So when you listen, you mostly train your listening skills, whereas so, whereas means while, while or at the same time, while or at the same time uh, speaking to someone, you improve both skills, two things in one. So, really, really just, you know, think about it. So, when you really listen, you just train your listening skills, mostly listening skills, when you're, you know, for example, when you speak, so you practice speaking English, yes, it's first, first and second, uh, I mean that you also practice your listening skills. Two things in one. It's amazing. Great. And definitely, I need to try it. Definitely, I need to try it. Right. So, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. So, uh, seven. Don't underestimate the importance of learning new words and English grammar structures. So, don't underestimate. Don't think it's unimportant. Okay. So, don't think. Uh, don't think it's unimportant. So, don't think it isn't important. So, you know, sometimes people say, okay, I will only, you know, listen to something. Okay, but what about new English words? What about grammar? It's also very, very important. Don't underestimate the importance, really, of learning new words and English grammar structures. Don't ignore these things. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore don't ignore it don't ignore it and improve your level in general improve your level in general so different skills different skills writing reading different and try to know at least at least means minimum uh, five thousand english words so five thousand english words or more and to feel really confident if you really want to feel really confident it means that if you really want to understand a lot in english native speakers you know that they use lots of words lots of english words is desirable 
So it's desirable means it's a very good idea. It's a very good idea to know minimum 10,000 English words for advanced learners. Okay? It's a very important thing. Thanks a lot. I'll focus on it. Good. Okay, next. Eight. So there are other, there are some other tricky questions. Tricky, it means maybe they seem very easy, but in fact they are difficult, such as phrasal verbs. So I think that you notice that uh, this video is full of phrasal verbs too, for example. So you need to know, yeah, yeah you need uh, to know them as native speakers. So as means because, because you need to know them uh, because as native speakers can't speak without them. They can't speak without phrasal verbs, so you need to know them. Please have a look at our playlist on phrasal verbs too and other playlists as well. So you just need to get down to learning them really seriously and to get down to also, it's also a phrasal verb. It means you need to start uh, learning them really seriously. So if you know phrasal verbs, so let's say uh, 200, 300 phrasal verbs, it will really help you to understand English speech, you know, native speakers often use phrasal verbs, okay? Good, perfect, something more, something more, sure. You need to believe in yourself, you need to believe in yourself, yeah. Follow, yeah, you need to believe in yourself and uh, follow this tip, just one tip, and see good progress, and see good progress. Just believe in yourself, people, many people are afraid. They think that they can't do it for this or that reason, but it's, you know, it's just in your mind. Believe in yourself. Just say, I can do it. It's easy for me because I have these methods and I can follow these recommendations, this tip, this advice. I'll do it. I'll do it. And okay, no problem. And start doing it. You know, and see good progress really. It will give, it, it, will, it will be giving you more and more enthusiasm motivation and positive energy and uh, yeah and you know that you'll see your progress and you'll smile okay you'll say i did it i did it i really did it okay and uh, i can move the mountains and i can do even more even more it's very good things very good nice recommendations i'm on the right way i'm on the right way okay and don't think you'll never be able to understand native speakers because you don't have enough abilities, abilities, time, skills or something else. Don't say it. So I believe maybe uh, there are uh, bad uh, teachers, there are, you know, sometimes there are bad teachers, uh, but uh, there are no hopeless students. There are no hopeless students, really. I have this rule in my life. There are no, okay, I'll write it down for you. There are no hopeless hopeless students. There are no hopeless students. Uh, it means that students without hope, everyone can learn English, even though it's difficult. It's very, very difficult, but everyone can learn English and everyone can improve his listening skills greatly and everyone can understand native speakers. There are, there are no hopeless students. Maybe, yeah. So it's my rule. It's my rule. And really, it's uh, fundamentally wrong uh, when you think that it isn't for you, you can't do it. So you see a cr clear way now. It's crystal clear. It's crystal clear. So it's very, very, very clear. And just go ahead and success will come. So very good. Very good. And you can say, I feel so positive. I feel so positive. Yeah. So really enjoy learning English. And it shouldn't be a very boring process, okay? And I'm sure it's the beginning of what? It's the beginning of your success. It's the beginning of your success and uh, of your great progress in English. And uh, so I'm really happy. I'm really happy that uh, we can uh, continue this amazing uh, play these secrets of learning English. I really thanks for likes, uh, shares, comments. I really appreciate your support and I think that really we are on the right way, yeah? And uh, so if you think in your mind, uh, thank you, I'll be the happiest uh, person in the world. Don't, you don't need uh, to write it maybe or to type it. So I just don't want to take your time. But even if you have this idea in your mind, yeah, even if you have this idea in your mind, so it's great. It means that uh, so I'm so happy. 
I'm so happy yeah, uh, to understand it and uh, to feel it, even though maybe you are very far away, but you know that uh, there are no borders uh, for communication and uh, there are no borders for help. And uh, I'm really uh, glad uh, to help you. It's the mission of the channel. Okay, my friends, oh, thanks a lot. And uh, I'll also be trying uh, to be very positive. Okay, uh, so stay with us and I hope that you'll enjoy more uh, great English le lessons, so new great English lessons. See you, bye. So we'll stay in touch.